hope you are absolutely fine in the previous video we discussed the sentence and the kinds of the sentences in today's video we will discuss about the interchange of sentence interchange of sentence so first of all we will discuss about the interchange or the transformation of the sentence so let's start with the meaning of the interchange of sentence ki when a sentence from one grammatical form may be changed to another without changing its meaning this process is known as the transformation of the sentence so first is the affirmative and the negative sentence how to change affirmative to negative and negative to affirmative but without changing the meaning of the actual sentence so first of all what is the affirmative and negative sentence you know it very well we have discussed in the previous we we have discussed it in the previous video okay so we normally transform affirmative or yes assertive statement means affirmative for positive and positive to negative but here we will change the affirmative sentence to negative and negative to positive but without affecting the actual meaning of the sentence now see the example i was doubtful whether it was you now this is in the form of the affirmative sentence means positive sentence now change it into negative but without affecting the meaning of the without affecting the meaning of the sentence okay so i was not sure that it was you okay i was not sure that it was you okay now here i was doubtful so doubtful will be changed to not sure hmm? same in case of see the next example only a prince can afford such a luxury this example is also given in the form of the affirmative now change into negative but without changing the meaning of the sentence now only a prince can afford such a luxury how we can change it to negative no one except a prince can afford such a luxury right now move to next example i was in time for the function ki i was in time means in proper time for the function it is also in the form of the affirmative change into negative i was in time means i was not late for the function next example you can see the accountant has never been dishonest it is given in the form of the negative now never will be changed to always hmm? now the accountant has always been honest hmm? next is no one could deny that she is pretty negative change into positive everyone accept that she is pretty so this is the way of changing a transformation of the sentence from affirmative to negative but without affecting the meaning of the sentence okay now second is your assertive and interrogative sentences means assertive to interrogative and interrogative to assertive so interchanging assertive with questioning sentence either introduce a note of doubt or tries to involve the other person in the process of affirmation itself hmm? see example at here ki this is not the kind of dress to be worn for the school function change into interrogative so interrogative we know it very well always begin with auxiliary otherwise wh hmm? so first that will come and ends with question mark so what here the helping verb is is auxiliary verb is 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 this the kind of dress to be worn for a school function see next it is foolish to worry about what people say assertive now change into interrogative why worry about what people say okay without affecting the meaning of the sentence next is the principal declared a holiday assertive change into interrogative did the principal not declare a holiday now did now see at here the principal declared 
in past indefinite tense here if we want to make the right the, the in past indefinite we want to change into negative then which helping verb we need to use did okay and in case of present indefinite we will take do and does right next example you can also see who does not know him it is given in the form of the interrogative now change into assertive assertive we know it what what will come first subject verb and object and ends with full stop everyone knows him right now move to next kind of the sentence that is exclamatory to assertive sentences means exclamatory and assertive exclamatory to assertive and interchange of exclamatory to assertive and assertive to exclamatory so interchanging exclamatory with assertive sentence take the excitement or emotion because exclamatory sentence means full of emotion wonder surprise feeling sudden feeling etc see example given here so without affecting the meaning of the sentence first is how beautiful is this night exclamatory now change into assertive change into assertive means this first what will come subject this night is very beautiful and ends with full stop same the next how sweet of you to write exclamatory it was sweet of you to write hmm? next you can see it is sad. it is sad to think that all good things should have an end assertive now it is written in the form of the assertive it is sad hmm? now in exclamatory we can we can use the different types of the interjection like the um, alas hurrah hmm? excitement wonder joy hmm? oh pew theek hai wow hmm? these are the according to the type of the sentence so here it is sad sad means alas then sign of exclamation all good things should have an end again sign of exclamation okay he is truly noble assertive is given now change into exclamatory how noble he is and sign of exclamation so this is the way we can change exclamatory to assertive and assertive to exclamatory okay now next move to next example is next kind of the change of sentences imperative and interrogative sentences means imperative to interrogative interrogative to imperative right so interchanging assertive with questioning sentence involve the other person in the assertion by presuming him or her to agree with the question because the questioning statement is so obviously a desirable state for example here here we know it very well that here subject in imperative sentences subject is not given so imaginary subject is at here you okay stop talking stop talking means you stop talking hmm? so stop talking imperative if we want to change into interrogative will you stop talking right shut the door imperative if we want to change into interrogative will you shut the door Hmm? will you please get me a glass of water hmm? so please it is given in the interrogative form now we want to change into imperative so will you please please means in the request form so please get me a glass of water so in this way we can change imperative to interrogative and interrogative to imperative okay and one thing that we should uh, always remind that here subject we will take you clear so next one is next is sentence containing the adverb to okay sentence containing the adverb to hmm? so to t double o to hmm? now here is the to and to is replaced with so and that okay it is replaced with so and that clear to and to is replaced with so and that right so this in this way we will do this one the first example you can see the news is too good to be to be true if we want to replace it i told you that to to and to 
is replaced with so and that the news is so good that it cannot be true the shoes are too tight for me to wear okay the shoes are too tight for me to wear so these shoes are two will be removed with uh, replaced with the so and two with the that theek okay? hai so tight that i cannot wear them right next is he speaks so fast that he cannot be understood so same in case of so and that is given that is also replaced with two and two he speaks too fast to be understood he is so ignorant that he is not suitable for the post of the counselor okay so here is also so and that will be removed with removed with Two and two. He is too ignorant for the post of a counselor. Okay. Same like next is the degrees of comparison. So here uh, degrees of comparison. So three types of the degrees of comparative: positive, comparative, and superlative degree. So here the inter change of the sentence clear sir so inter change of sentences with the help of the degrees of comparison but without affecting the actual meaning of the sentence for example here is examples is given it is maybe in the form of the adjective or an adverb okay no bernard shaw was was not as great as shakespeare okay so negative change into negative form but in the comparative okay bernard shaw was not as great as shakespeare it is given in the form of the negative now we have to change into comparative form so how we can change comparative form is comparison of two things clear so shakespeare was greater than bernard shaw next you can see very few cities in india are as rich as mumbai when we do the uh, comparison in positive then we use as or as okay and in comparative we will use the second form of the degree in the form of er and then than and uh, in superlative we will use the est form or uh, est form with the, the okay we will use the article with this hmm? so next is here next example you can see at here ki mumbai very few cities in india are as rich as mumbai positive now change into comparative as well as superlative form so mumbai is richer than that most other cities in india clear in comparative mumbai is one of the richest cities in india same in next example you can see it is given in the form of the superlative form ashoka was greater than many other kings okay so ashoka was ashoka was greater than many other kings now change into superlative form ashoka was one of the greatest king same if we want to write in the form of the positive how we will write very few kings were as great as ashoka clear next is rachna is not the tallest girl in the class it is given in the form of the superlative the tallest okay now change into comparative rachna is not taller than many girls in the class so with the help uh, these are the here we can change the degrees of comparison without affecting the mean actual meaning of the sentence means negatives to comparative comparative to positive positive to superlative theek okay? hai we can change in one sentence in any other different kinds of sentence so today in this video we will discuss up to here next part of the chapter we will discuss in the next video thank you have a good day